So um, yesterday we spent most of the ASI time talking about like philosophy and security stuff. Um, we didn't have time to get into any actual MM stuff, um, so that's what I want to get into quickly now. Um, and I should warn you, we're probably still what like several months away from really trying to tackle these problems. So these are a bit underdeveloped, but hopefully um, it will stir some um, interesting conversation. So um, what the arguably the core challenge for MM with ASI is that we have to flush the TLB in places where we didn't before. Um, because now when we make a page transition from non-sensitive to sensitive, we unmap it, therefore we have to flush the TLB. Um, the simplest way to manage the life cycle of sensitivity of pages is to treat all of them that are free as sensitive. So that's what our current implementation does. Um, and that means that when you free a page, you have to unmap it. You can't reallocate it um, until you flush the TLB for that page. So we have an async queue and a worker that drains that queue in the back uh, asynchronously. And then reclaim has to, obviously, if you just do that naively, then that queue gets really long. And it looks like there's no pages available on the free list, and you get ooms. So reclaim then has to be aware of that, um, has to be aware of that queue and that worker, which is like hairy already. Um, but also, even if we could implement this clean, which I, th I guess you could actually make this, implement this right. Um, but even if you could, very often you're, um, you're freeing a non-sensitive page, you're unmapping it, flushing the TLB, and then you're just reallocating it again as non-sensitive again, mapping it back in again, and that TLB flush is pointless. Um, we can actually get rid of the worst of the performance impact of this, because actually it's really easy to batch things up. And um, you can then just do a global TLB flush, um, and then everything on the page is re on the async list is ready to be reallocated, but it's still not great. So I want to get some early thoughts on like what it would look like to do this properly, which I think probably means we need free pages to be. We need to remember the sensitivity of free pages. So we need to remember what. It's not really about sensitivity anymore, but we need to remember whether or not they're mapped in the restricted address space. And then, so rather than doing a TLB flush, we remember whether it's mapped. And then when a new allocation request comes in, if it's requesting a non-sensitive page, we've got one ready to go and we just give it one of them. Um, so if you need to remember the sensitivity of a free page, it's, um, it's like an attribute of freed pages that you need to be able to index them by. Um, and you'd kind of like to keep them together by the, like group them by that, by that attribute. So it's kind of like a migrate type, I think. Um, so what's everyone's like immediate response to the idea of having something a bit like a migrate type in the page allocator for sensitivity? Sounds much better than the point after that. What about zones? <laughs> yeah, so, so Frank was saying, do we, need, do we want zone global? No, 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 no. I was no, also no. unsure. It didn't make sense to me. But. I mean, my, my, my gray type might be the easiest one. The question is, like, do, do, we, do we assume that we have more sensitive free pages than non-sensitive free pages? Mm -hmm. I would assume if, like, most of user space would be sensitive, that most of your memory would be... Yeah. Like your free memory would also be sensitive, exactly, right? Yeah. Some, I mean, it's, it's quite interesting how this will play along with the other migrate types that we already have. And uh, I already, at some point, I raised a proposal that we might want to have migrate type flags. For example, we have the migrate type isolate right now, but really it, it could have been a flag. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure, like, with with the sensitivity, I mean, you would also have to place it on l separate lists, lists internally, but it also sounds like it should be a flag, and then you have like the movable, unmovable. Yeah. yeah and that, like I, which page block it belongs to, essentially. So it could be another dimension, how to integrate it, and like, you, you don't want to add like four more migrate types, like uh, sensitive, movable, sensitive, um, you, you don't want to do that. So maybe we really have to go towards having uh, uh, like flags to, to identify that in a migrate type. So do you know upon allocation time whether it's going to be sensitive or non-sensitive and yeah. does it stay that way always? The, 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 
Yes, at the moment it does. Um, whether or not that would change is kind of unclear. Probably it would be reasonable to have some semantics like if you, so the, it's possible that we might find ourselves allocating pages then um, changing the sensitivity. But I think we could say something like, if you do that, you have to put it back to how it was before you free it. Yeah, because once you, once you start changing it, then you would mix different types within the page block of that migrate type and the body merging would yeah. mess it up. Uh, so yeah, it would have to be stable in yeah. that sense. An example of where we might want to change the sensitivity after allocating would be, say you like, say I was just talking about this with, with Matthew. If you were reading a file and it's in the page cache, the page cache is, this is not implemented, but I'm kind of imagining it. The pa page cache pages are going to be sensitive. But if you've just done like the access check to say that the current process has access to read this file, and you know now that the page you're about to read is like associated with that file, then you can just be like, well, we don't need to cause an ASI exit when we touch it. So we could map it in on demand there. Um, so I don't know if you could then remember that you did that and undo it, but yeah. How do you say that you are requesting a uh, uh, sensitive memory from the allocator? It's a GFP, or, GFP flag. So anything GFP user is uh, is sensitive. Uh, or no, let's the, say that you have GFP kernel allocation. So there's actually a new underscore underscore GFP sensitive, or under, yeah, and that goes into GFP user, but then you can also just set that explicitly on any allocation if you wanted to. And how do you know that when you are freeing that page? Um, at the moment, it's a page flag, um, which is, uh, might, not, <laughs> might not fly in the next RFC. So that was called up in Janae's RFC. OK, so you have picked two things that are usually getting a lot of hammering, yeah, GFP um, flag and a flag. Yeah, we could also always reconstruct that information from the page tables there, right? So, um, I guess it, wait, if okay. you use the page block types or migrate type and it's stable, then you don't need a flag because, you know, that page is from the sensitive page block, so it has to be sensitive. Uh, oh, I thought that like sometimes you could come from a migrate uh, blo uh, page block of a certain govern type, but uh, like it was actually allocated from there as a fallback, and therefore the page doesn't have that type. Uh, yeah, is that not how it works? Yeah, you, uh, were, you would have to be strict, as I said. Uh, otherwise, yeah, yeah. body merging would m mix it up. I see, right. Or you would have to adjust body merging to check the bodies, and it would yeah. be like prohibitively expensive. So. Yeah, so I think it doesn't. I'm interested to hear what Yosri thinks about this. this. Like, getting rid of the page flag isn't something we've tried to do, but it doesn't seem impossible, right? Yeah, we should try and do this. Yeah. I, I, I think we have to do this before the next time we post upstream. Otherwise, it's why bother posting again. So. Yeah, I, I think the page block idea, if we can make it work, then yeah, then we can get rid of it. If we can enforce that the page block will always remain sensitive or non-sensitive and we yeah. can't mix and match, then yeah. So it's kind of like but, using PageX, but like not a bit cheaper, right? Yeah, so yeah, we, we, we need to look into this, but I think it should be possible. It may enforce some restrictions on allocations. I'm not sure what the implications might be. If you need to allocate a page and uh, you only have a, a sensitive page block, and it's not sensitive, then you're going to have to go flush the TLB and do a lot of messy things. So it, I think it's theoretically possible. Whether it's beautiful or not is a different story. Maybe you would have to compact another page block to convert it. And yeah. yeah, so no, you could, yeah. When it, if, yes, yes. It's going to be very hard, I guess. But it is, I think, theoretically possible. We need we need to go back to the drawing board and, and uh, check if it's actually possible or not. Yeah, we need to do it, basically. Um, the other thing about page blocks is, like, the I said it's this thing you need to attribute a free pages that you need to be able to index them by. But that's, like, where the similarity ends. Um, and we don't, I think we don't care, I think we don't care very much about fragmentation from a performance point of view. Like if, the, if, if all of the three pages are just like mixed up sensitivities, then we can fix that with one TLB flush. So it's not ideal, but it's not like 
if you have like non-movable pages everywhere, it's a disaster, right? Um, so I don't know if there's any, I have no ideas, but maybe there's some scope to make things simpler, simpler taking advantage of that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah. You would have to see more. some prototype and. Yeah, I probably see. need some. Yeah, look at look at some con concrete details. Okay. Um, this is the main thing that I wanted to talk about. I, I do have other questions though. I don't and know. I guess Mel Gorman will still be unhappy if you're adding a new migrate type or something. <laughs> Sorry, could you say that again? Mel Gorman will probably push back for adding a new migrate type anyway, so you will have to be convincing. Okay. <laughs> Um, I also didn't realize that adding a new GFP flag was such a bad thing. And okay, yeah. <laughs> like page flag, I understand for sure. But. Uh, those GFP flags are running out, and oh, okay. once you start using that, it's really hard to get re get rid of that. Uh, that's the reason for the pushback. If there is no other way, then of course uh, there is no other way. But uh, uh, then the question is. Uh, uh, what, what you've said uh, in your previous session, how do you say that something is uh, really sensitive and uh, whether even most of the page allocator users can do an educated guess about? Because uh, the experience from the past has taught us that uh, most, uh, most of the kernel code just use GFP flags correctly. Unless that's very simple, like mm -hmm. GFP kernel is straightforward. But uh, we used to have uh, uh, GFP temporary and stuff like that. And, and users were thinking they are using that right, but um, maybe that was us under documenting that. But uh, yeah, I'm, there are still like fundamental, like really common page flags that I'm not exactly sure what they mean. I mean, I'm probably the least knowledgeable about that in this room, but I'm, yeah, it would support your argument about it being underdocumented, I think. Um, but sensitivity is quite easy to explain, right? You is can it? just say, like, this flag means you don't care if the user leaks it. For GFP nonsense, if you have a flag for non-sensitive, I mean. I'm not so sure that's that easy. <laughs> to explain? <laughs> <laughs> as, as we just uh, discussed previously, so uh, is GFP user in general sensitive because that's user data or not? Or only some of them? Or how, uh, or, how do we uh, tell? Uh, uh, GFP user would be sensitive. Yeah, GFP user, I think, would in any implementation include underscore underscore GFP sensitive. So if the feature is enabled, then you do not really need any special flag for that because uh, you could just put all that category uh, to be sensitive. So uh, yeah, but we probably eventually want to make other things that aren't GFP user sensitive. Yeah. So which one? Uh, well, lots of things. Um, I mean, hmm. so anything that. Well, in KVM, there are lots of things that like directly derive from user memory, like. Like uh, gas registers, as a, is an obvious example. You also crypto stuff, right? Yeah, crypto keys. Um, yeah, I/O data. So, and doesn't this also depend on the approach you choose? Like, start secure means everything is sensitive uh, yes, once you start. So maybe. The odd case we would be GFP insensitive, right? Yeah. So, but then you still, yeah. Either way, you need a flag because, um, so in the case that you start with, uh, with a um, an allow list approach, so everything starts off as sensitive. Then, um, for reasons that I won't go into too much, but there are some cases where there's a functional requirement that something is non-sensitive. So anything that you access right around the region where you're running your untrusted code. Um, you can't have page faults that are caused by this. So then you need to annotate those. So like for KVM, you need to annotate, annotate all of the like uh, um, per CPU VM, uh, KVM structures. So, so those allocations <coughs> which, 
uh, which are you want to kind of opt out uh, from from the sensitive. Those are quite like just like hard coded, hard coded in a sense that these are the ones. I'm just wondering, like rather than GFP, you can have a special like a oh, like a list of them, like different API. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah. So there might be some other way other than a GFP flag. Yeah. You plumb it down to the page allocator. Yeah. Yeah, like like. You're gonna just have a boolean sensitive dumped all yeah, the yeah. way down to the page allocator. It seems like you're moving the problem around a bit. If you, so you're saying we don't have a GFP flag, but we have something equivalent to a GFP flag elsewhere, right? Um, put some. What we do have is a uh, uh, scope interface to uh, say that everything in this scope is GFP no FS or no IO currently, uh, and if in nature you can identify parts of code that it's dealing with insensitive uh, data, then you can somehow s smash that into that interface rather yeah. than annotating specific allocations, which I think will sooner or later just fall apart because that's really hard. If you just look how many allocations there are in the kernel and making sure that all of them get that right is just sounds like something that sooner or later somebody will just get it incorrect well, but if you can identify parts of the code that you tell you can tell that this this is really insensitive then probably a scope interface would be much better you wouldn't have to deal with gfp flag and those things and and it it would have a clear definition that I know what I'm doing here, and that's th that's why that works. Yeah, so I think this is something that we work, like a scope based, like a TIF, I don't know what you call it, but um, this is something that I think we'll eventually want. And like the example I gave yesterday was if you've, if you've like somewhere gone, your call stack goes through like libcrypto, then you could just be like, anything that gets allocated here is sensitive. Um, and there might be other ways where you can say like anything in this scope is non-sensitive. But I think there are always going to be scopes where some allocations are sensitive and some are non-sensitive um, because KVM is going to be like that because there's this functional requirement that some of KVM's data is non-sensitive and then KVM touches a bunch of stuff that's obviously sensitive, like guest memory. Yeah, I was going to say basically the same thing. The scope thing works well for things like what what what's my reclaim restrictions because that doesn't change depending on the allocations but here in the scope you might be mixing lots of different things and if you want to be careful and go with the allow list approach then you want to vet every single thing and not just randomly get something into your scope that you didn't like uh, check for right uh, that also reminds me coming back to your point about getting every allocation right. That's not going to happen, right? And that's what, kind of what I was saying yesterday about how the way, what we pick as the default is very important because that's going to, 99.9% .9 of allocations are going to follow that default forever. Um, yeah. So that's something we have to factor into the design, really. So do you have, like you said, you do have the requirement for some allocation to be non-sensitive. Yeah. So what's the, like, a cost to make that, like, to get that wrong? Will it, uh, like, will it work, or what will it happen? Will, the machine will blow up. Yeah, you'll blow up. Yeah. Okay. I think you get infinite page faults or something. It, I'm stupid, so I need, a, like, a clarifying question. Uh, assuming, like, you have this model and you have a user page and you didn't map the direct map and you do a get user pages on it and you access that. Then there's a page fault and then you, so they'll, they'll trigger a page fault the page fault handler will tri will do an ASI exit, and then we return back to the faulting instruction and carry on. So you switch the address space to an address space where everything is mapped. And yeah. And ah, yeah. OK. And so you, you have like two, and you only, like the page alloc would be so smart to only unmap it from one address space, from the yeah. sensitive one and the unsensitive one, exactly, whatever, yeah, something. Yeah. OK, perfect. Thanks. And then the, the, so the page fault is like our trust domain transition. That's kind of what it is. The, if the memory is supposed to be accessible from the untrusted domain, but you try to access it, it will be interpreted as, for example, a VM maliciously trying to access sensitive data. So you will kill it, basically. 
um, I know I'm moving, I said I, I know I said this was moving the moving the problem around, but what about if instead of a page flag we had a special alloc pages underscore non-sensitive? Does that because if the problem is running out of GFP flags, I guess it fixes that problem. You mean we have plenty of function names we can use? <laughs> 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 no, but then you would either have to like re-implement another version of the page allocator or you would have to eventually call into the page allocator yeah, and then you would have to plump the extra parameter all the way down to but there's a, the internals. There a, so it, it doesn't yeah, help. Couldn't it be an alloc flag, which is an enum, right? So it's not, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, 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 maybe yeah, there's this alloc, alloc context. Yeah. You could maybe plump it into that. It's quite early there, so maybe you could get away with that. Yeah. Okay. But that, yeah, so that gets that gets us that gives us some opportunity to make progress. But I think at least so if you if you look at Janaid's RFC, he didn't just touch the page allocator. He touched K malloc, V malloc, um, static variable. Oh, it's, it's not such a problem. But for static variables. Then there's like a, a section for them, a section that tells you whether it's sensitive or non-sensitive, per CPU variables. So it kind of starts to touch quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> and the nice thing about the GFP flag is that it works for KMALOC too. Okay. Um, well, it's six o'clock now. Um, should I? Uh, well, the next slide is actually an open-ended one. I think probably if there was something that you could see we were missing, people would have already said it, but just in case, speak now. Okay, I'm not seeing any responses. <laughs> um, I do have more slides, but maybe it's best to just wrap it up instead of trying to... Oh, I suppose this one's quickly. Um, this was um, a very vague idea of what we might... how we might approach the patch set. So at the moment, we've got... There's a branch up on GitHub. Uh, Hopefully, I guess I'll have a way to share these slides later. Um, I think before I can post anything on the mailing list, we need to uh, probably need to ha start have a version that, like with the start secure approach, with the allow list approach, maybe. But that's probably set up for debate. Um, before we can post anything, we call a patch. I think it, I haven't added there, but we need to get rid of the page flag, I think, or at least try to do that. Um, and I think we need to. I don't want to try and ask anybody to merge anything until we have a client for user space. Um, but then I'd basically like to try and ask to merge stuff that's quite minimal and then do lots more evolution in tree. Um, so I don't know if anyone has any thoughts about that. Yeah, I guess not. OK, cool. Well, um, I won't uh, drag this on any longer. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.